And then something went bump. Oh no. How that bump made us jump. What the fuck? We looked, then we saw him step on the mat. What? What? We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. Let me see the picture. Holy shit. That's a gosh damn Bigfoot. And he said to us, He fucking talks. Why do you sit there like that? Run, bitch. I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun. Do they die? No, they don't die. Did you pee on yourself? Why? Were you not just listening to the story? Oh my god. The fucking cat was talking. You didn't see the cat. That's why you're laughing. Yeah, right. He was walking around on two legs. I was like, well, I'm not sleeping tonight. This is 100 reasons why I hate Disney movies. You ever watch The Lion King and think to yourself, how the hell did these cameramen get so close to the lion without getting attacked? That doesn't make any sense. Or in The Beauty and the Beast when Belle's dad gets kidnapped but she takes his place. I wish my dad would get kidnapped I'd be like this. Guess I'll see you sometime. Or in Frozen, she has all these magical powers to turn stuff into ice, but she don't make one snow cone. If I was her sister, I'd been like, Elsa, can I please get a blueberry freeze? How didn't Belle pass out whenever the clock started talking to her? Tell me that. As soon as that clock would've been like, hey, Derek, I'd've been like, oh. You mean to tell me Aladdin's out there running around barefoot, finds a genie, gets three wishes, and don't wish for a pair of shoes? That'd've been my first wish. I'd be like, let me get some Jordans. I'm probably gonna need some socks, too.